Okay, so we've just discussed connectionist features of a network, and we're moving on to positional features. And positional features are actually a consequence of how the network's wired. The positional features are node-level measures that are emerging from the way that the network structurally is put together. And we capture positional features with several different um, kinds of measures. These measures are generally power and centrality measures, and ones that are good for sort of an opening diagnostic to understand the network when doing network visualization are degree, closeness centrality, betweenness centrality, and eigenvector centrality. And I'm going to go through each one. They may be related, and they give us sort of a mosaic of how the network is operating and who are the important players in the network. That's what positional features are really doing for us. And so we're going to walk through each one and what that piece of information is that that measure is giving us and what is the information the network has to have to be able to calculate that measure. Okay, so the first measure that uh, we are bringing up is degree centrality. Now we've talked about degree centrality um, a little bit in the past in the example. If you remember uh, in the lab, I was uh, making the size of the network proportional to the nodes in degree centrality. Just to review, degree centrality in general is how connected the node is. And remember when we were talking about connectionist features, we were looking at uh, the distribution of nodes and how connected they are and the probability of being um, either highly or less highly connected. So degree centrality can be calculated on a bi very simple binary network and it doesn't need directions. But if we don't have directions, directionality in our network, we can get a very different story than if we do have in our network. So in our first example, we have Jill in the center of the network. It's not surprising Jill has tons of connections. Jill has high overall degree centrality. If we think that having lots of connections is important, which we often do in networks, then Jill is probably a pretty important person. However, if we look at the directionality of the network, if we have a network that has directed ties in it, we can do a subsequent analysis, which is we can look at the in-degree centrality and the out-degree centrality. So hearkening back to our visualization example, in-degree centrality is a measure of how many ties any node, one node is receiving. And out degree centrality is a measure of how many ties any node is sending out. And you can imagine in different analyses that these measures might be more or less important. In the colleague and discussion network example, we were focusing on in degree centrality because frankly people can't uh, choose who nominates them and being nominated by someone can indicate some important information whereas people can, can nominate as many friends as they want and frankly people often have a desirability bias. They want to say, I have lots of friends and so our out degree centrality in those kinds of networks is a little less trusted measure. If we look at our little examples, we see now that uh, Emma and Shane are, uh, if we're talking about in terms of in-degree centrality, are important people in the network. They're equivalently important. They're both receiving the same number of ties. Um, and Jill is no longer the central person in the story because Jill is actually only receiving two ties and sending out uh, more ties. If we look at out-degree centrality, though, Jill comes back in the picture because Jill is sending out lots of ties to the rest of the network. So if we were to compare centrality measures, our overall centrality, it looks like there's more uh, out-degree centrality going on and that Jill is central in it. But we want to be able to tell the difference between uh, how many ties someone's receiving and how many ties someone's uh, sending out if we didn't have directionality in the network. And we might make um, false inferences about the network just based on the degree measure. We might be like, oh, Jill's the most important one and go with that. But if we think that receiving ties from people is important as a marker of status or prestige or something like that, then we need that in-degree story.